So the fight against Khabib Nurmagomedov. I can't even say his last name. Nurmagomedov He's against Russian. Conor McGregor. Oh my goodness! <laughs> so let's talk about it. Uh, Khabib was going into this match 26-0. Yeah, so he's, like, he's, he's, like the, he's like the Mayweather of UFC. He's, he's established going in. Every, I mean, it was so heavy that people were literally voting if he was going to, uh, you know, do the tap before they start. Mm-hmm. You know how they do that, you know, taps gloves? Yeah, like shake hands. They said yeah, they and they didn't. They said they won. They won. And then Connor came into the fight uh, with 20 wins and... Um, uh, and, and, of course, just uh, three losses. But it was going to be an event because it, Connor just coming back from a big break. But it was for him to definitely see if he can take the title from Khabib. Well, wow. Not just that. It was like it was like personal. Connor, was. Connor runs his mouth a lot, but it got like where he's talking about the dude's religion. You know, he's, Khabib is Muslim. Yeah. And uh, Connor uh, – Connor – Connor knew that he was gonna he was gonna be the underdog, even though he's like he probably got paid more in the fight. This is as 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 cocky as Connor uh, McGregor is. I have to say that he he does. In my opinion, he does it for the hype. He knows the more rowdy he is, the the more uh, people would talk about but it. But it's, it's like there is a boundary. That's what it sounds like. No, but he's already going downhill. Like he's better off just trying to market himself and capitalize on what he made during that Mayweather fight. Because he, all it takes is him losing one more time. He's not going to be the cream of the crop of the USC no more. That's right. Like it's going to come to a point yeah, like who wants his, to see him. His yeah. mouth, yeah, his mouth's not going to be able to sell fights no more. Because you, you know, you, you're not defending nothing. Yeah, get wins. Even if you lose, get get out there. Get get but that more dude, fights in Khabib, there. Though it was just like he looked like he, you know, even in victory, he should have been more humble about it. I know he was pissed, and you know, the dude Connor a few like a few months ago threw a threw a uh, he threw a down. Not even a chair. This dude threw a... What is this shit? Damn, why well, I can't think of it. A table? Nope. Uh, what chair. is this shit they use when you pull and when you're Podium? moving? Podium? No, when you're moving and it's on the back of a U-Haul. Uh, trailer? No. It's a, oh, yeah, that incident on video. Like he, he threw... Yes. Fuck, what is it called again? Damn, well, I just slipped my mind, dude. I don't know. Well, he threw one of those in the, through the bus, which had Khabib on there and some other fighters. And then he like... A few people got stitches that. and he got arrested for that. Yeah. But it still didn't stop him from fighting. Like, that's what I'm saying. That controversy sells. So, this little brawl after anything is just going to sell for the rematch. So, the, the first round, Khabib, you can just tell that he was way more skilled than McGregor. Well, he had momentum the whole time. Like, he kicked his ass the he whole time. He did one one really hard right uh, swing and landed. And, and then Khabib just dropped it on the ground. And he's a master grappler. You know, he's just a mm-hmm. master of locking his legs in and really holding him down. So that was really great to see. I was shocked that McGregor felt like he was trying to attack, but Khabib was just on him. By the second round, it felt like they were duking it out. They were swinging, fight. They were swinging, yeah. and they were landing a few. They were just duking it out. But Khabib came back again, dropped him on the ground again, and just held him down. It, it, it was it was a good fight. I have to say it was a good fight. A fucking dolly. He threw a dolly through the window. <laughs> <laughs> I, that was a good. Uh, but it was a good fight. Like, but at the same time, like, Connor was losing the whole time. Though he was, he never had momentum. He and he, then he tapped out. The thir- that's the third round. No, by that was the, the fourth third, round. He tapped out in the fourth, uh, the fourth round. round. Uh, by the fourth gr- uh, round, finally, Khabib got him on that chokehold by going behind him and just squeezing. Yeah, yeah he tapped out pretty squeezing. fast too. But he didn't let. But then Khabib didn't let go right away. So the like f- they had to pull him off him. Even when he was tapping out, yeah. he still was choking his ass. So it was a good fight. I enjoyed it. They both was well. I know Khabib was fighting with emotion, like it was personal. Both of them, it was personal. Yeah, and then, then it got insane. It got real personal. I've never seen this. Like this is the kind of stuff I think has been played out in boxing when people kept committing never. in the ring. Mike right? Tyson maybe like uh, when they're weighing in pre fights they get in scrapples, but not after the fight. Yeah, dude, they're tired. They're too tired to be trying to throw blows after the fight. So what happened was Khabib. I guess there was something with his mouthpiece that he chucked it or something, yeah. and then. Khabib ran out of the octagon and he chased. didn't run out of it. He hopped over it. That's <laughs> a big ass difference. <laughs> and he went and attacked someone in the audience. Imagine well, he went you after sitting Con- there. He went after Connor's corner, so it was Connor's coach and some of his supporters, and those are similar guys. I'm probably talking shit about him. 
Mm-hmm. It just went into pure havoc. That shit could have been. It could have been. Um, it could have been so bad. It could have been staged though too at the same time. I think so. It's possible. That's I mean, like putting WWF your title shit. on the line, fines. He's definitely gonna get fined for this. Yeah, he's lucky he didn't get arrested. Um, but it's like staged for the rematch. That's the whole point. So while that was going on, in the audience, could be going. You know when Connor when Connor ran up on that bus, he had like twenty guys with him when he ran up when he was trying to fight him. That incident, threw, yeah. yeah. He threw the dollar through the window. Yeah. He had like twenty dudes with him, and this was like before a UFC fight. That's so why he's cocky. It was the equivalent of like this past Saturday of somebody's coming to fight before the fight, trying yeah. to fight him. Yeah, when you start being violently physical. I mean, I don't know. No, if, he maybe he, he thinks he's in the WWE or something, and it's just the backstage. His ass he, thought he was unstoppable because <laughs> he won all that money from getting his ass beat by Mayweather. So, while that was going on, while Khabib is in the audience <laughs> doing swings, and then people were jumping on him. Yeah. Then the some had guy on two a guys. red, two guys jump one over the, the octagon inside yeah, of the octagon. Yeah, one with the black and one with red. The dude with the black at least squared up with Connor. He, he swung on him from the front, but the guy with the red tried to hit him from the back like a bitch. And then started wailing on McGregor inside the octagon. So where was security? That's what made Connor look more like the, like he looked, uh, uh, even after in defeat, he kind of still, he looked like, you know, he didn't wild out like the way Khabib did. Because it yeah. was just like, it turned into a damn brawl. But then you think about it, it's a bunch of Irish and Russians, and they're going at it. I'm talking about the audience. Yeah. And they're drinking the whole day. It's like, dude, what <laughs> That's the hell? The other it could have been way worse. It could have talk- been, been like a brawl throughout the whole stadium. It was a, it, uh, uh, McGregor's uh, people and then Khabib's people. And like yeah. you said, the Irish as well as the Russians. Yeah, that he's... audience was heavy. Why would you want to start that type of mood? This is the kind of stuff you... you <laughs> well, that's what I'm saying. Even, even without him fighting and jumping in the crowd, a lot of Connors uh, people would have been pissed about, you know. But a lot of times you can't, you know, there's nothing you could do. They're still going to be talking shit to each other. But a fight breakout was when one of the fighters <sighs> jump out of the damn octagon and start swinging at the crowd. Joe Rogan was there. But most of those dudes are all fighters. Like the dudes in Connors corner that he jumped and he was like swinging off. They're all like, some of them are USC fighters. Yeah. Well, Joe Rogan was there, and he said a really great uh, thing. He said, why would you want to taint the sport with this type of uh, attitude? First I of mean, all, it's already human cockfighting. <laughs> what can taint even more? Like, these fools fight until damn near. I don't know if anybody died in the ring doing UFC, but do you think happen. about the concussions with football? It's the same shit with them, dude. Those dudes going to have way kind of problems later in life. But I, I do agree with him in being professional. You're still an athlete. You're still an athlete. No, nah, they didn't even cut the check yet. You should wait till you get paid at least. Then, then go, go fight. I agree with that. <laughs> they could have took. They could have fined him, or they could have. Well, I, I heard that they withheld his check. They gave Connor his check right away, but then could be they withheld it. I feel this is going to be the start of more security inside the octagon. <laughs> the octagon, where after the fight, you see all security, just everybody are surrounding. It's, it's like poor sportsman. Like, it's poor sportsmanship. Man. It is poor. Sportsmanship. On both ends, though, like. Connor runs his mouth a lot too, though. And and that's another thing. Khabib won fair and square. That's he what, won that's it. That's why he let his emotions get the best of him. It was a perfect time for him to rain on McGregor's parade, put it on his face, yeah, just, just say just right there, shit. as his arm is getting raised and being announced the winner, it would have been the perfect time for him to point at McGregor and say, bitch. Bow you know? He just, just said bow down. Like, but, he could have been, He could have been subtle about it. But nope. It makes it look worse the way he the way he went about it. He, I mean, I, what was he thinking? Like, what, maybe he is it possible that he comes from a background where the environment, the atmosphere, allows stuff like that? You know, street brawls. You yeah, know, but, underground knuckle fight brawls. This dude, this where dude, they can do whatever they want. He's undefeated in UFC for a reason, dude. You know, so what he's doing. I don't know if this is going to be Khabib's last fight. What do you but, think? They're going to have a rematch for sure. It's not going to be his last fight. You're going to let him keep... The dude is undefeated. Like, man, he's going to be the draw now. Then there was an attention to him kept asking, where's my belt? After he finally convinced all the security around him, like, "Ah, I'm calming down, I'm calming down, where's my belt? They didn't didn't give it to him. They didn't give it to him. They told him, hey, we feel that if we give you the belt right now in the octagon... They're going to be throwing shit at him. They're going to be throwing stuff at him. And sure enough, as he was walking out... They were throwing shit at him? They were throwing stuff at him. Because I'm pretty sure it was more Conor fans than it was... You know, his fans in there. Not the whole time. Why, why, just before he went underneath the, the, the tube, I mean... Looks the, like a sore loser. They I were mean, throwing a, stuff at him. Poor sportsmanship, you know. You gotta act like you've been there. He really ruined an amazing day for him. It's so awkward. I mean, he won. That's so like, awkward. That's like the equivalent of you having a threesome and right after, then you go get in a fight with both chicks. <laughs> <laughs> I 
guess that's not the equivalent. That's not equivalent. Ah, it's finally on your wedding day. No, man, I'm pissed. you're getting married. It's supposed to be the happiest day of your life for some people. Uh, and I didn't look at so that's the equivalent of you getting married and then at the reception you get too drunk and you end up punching your your wife's dad. That, that's the equivalent of that. <laughs> Thank you. Like uh, you're doing the whole night, like you get into it with your wife's dad on the night of your wedding. And then you end up punching them. Like, that's the same equivalent. Like, it gets weird and awkward. It is. Nobody's going to be congratulating you no more. They're going to be like, bro, what the fuck are you doing? What's your problem, man? <laughs> what is your... Like, you graduate from high school, and right there, you start punching it. All the teachers are shaking your hand. You're getting arrested <laughs> on the day you graduate from college. Oh, that's a very good analogy. I like that one. So that happened. Pretty Wild is all over uh, Instagram, all over Twitter. It, it sh- It's very shocking. Uh I'll be honest with you. Um, I feel that it's dangerous for the audience that came out to see this. Do you think they expected no, not for, for all that crowd to go insane? If I would have been, I would have been in the nosebleed section anyway. So I just would have my popcorn enjoying, enjoying the <laughs> Just brawl. watching now. They're like, holy shit. Yeah, only people with money were that close to the octagon. Yeah, those are high but end yeah, tickets. I'm sure Dana White wouldn't want that to happen just, you know, security or for, you know, safety reasons for the, the patrons there watching the fight. He he. But at the same time, totally. he's capitalizing on all that shit. He looked like he had no control for the first. He didn't have no control for the first no time. I saw Connor Dana either. White just totally lose control. You always see this guy at the time when he around. when he threw the, the shit when Connor threw that dolly at the bus and the cops were looking for him. And he had to turn himself in. Yeah. Dana White was talking about he's gonna get sus- like he's gonna get suspended from the, take his belt and all this shit. And he still ended up yeah he's still in the fighting he. He's he all, just I think he might be all talk. He capitalizes on controversy with yeah, the UFC. Yeah. So he's the modern day, uh, uh, what's his face? Don't say Don King. <laughs> That's what you were thinking? Don King? I was about to say it. <laughs> Don King was a fucking crook, dude. He took he, all the Tyson money. He was a crook. That's a, he's a greedy motherfucker. With the fucking American flags. Damn. <laughs> Coon ass motherfucker. But uh, for sure, it, that was extremely wild. It was an amazing fight on one end. It was amazing to see... Uh, Khabib uh, just go out there and make it happen and then it just went and imploded for sure so check out the highlights we'll put a couple of uh, links below on our YouTube channel if you guys want to check them out and we'll put the link on the incident where yeah I'm going to watch the rematch I mean yeah. the re- well the rematch obviously but I meant the rerun, the rerun I'm just going to yeah. wait to the end I don't even want to watch I just want to wait to <laughs> round four. Oh man it was now was some people I'm, I know there that I was there and they posted on Instagram yeah. Yeah, so it was before you it was were on the news. Those. Yeah, I was you looking were like at the brawl after. I was, was like, damn, that's just the fight? Oh, it's the audience. What's going on? Oh, pretty wild.